Hi all, welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4, playing as Long Zong. We are finally dealing with Ming, uh, somewhat successfully now. We've got a decent amount of sieges done, and we're going to continue sort of rolling up the coast in a uh, sort of counterclockwise measure, if you will. Um, hopefully we can take a chunk out, we can maybe break away some dudes. By dudes I mean like uh, nations that they can release maybe? Let's see. Release nations. Yeah, there's a bunch of people we could release. That's Yi, Meow, Meow. I don't... Oh, it's that set of blue. Okay. Z is a lot. That's pretty big. Um, and Zhao is literally like a large portion of the country. So it's probably going to be release Meow. Uh, which is a decent amount. Um, give territory to Dali and Chengdu and take, or Kam, and take a little bit for ourselves. Um, there are, ooh, I was not paying attention, and randomness has ensued. Um, let's, rebels rose up and are now attacking us, but that's okay. Yes, we need the money. Okay, so our, our allies dealt with the rebels. Um, and they're sending their troops north, looks like. What are these rebels? These are Ming peasants. Yeah. Which they seem to have eternal problems with. And it looks like Oriot is now actually winning some of their war. So we may be able to, in winning our war, help Oriot do peace in a, such a way that, you know, breaks off stuff, or they take away provinces from Ming. Again, we're 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 not going to win this. We're not going to kill Ming in one go, but we're trying to to piece him apart if we can, um, if you will. And I think that's a good goal. That's a really good goal. Um, I do wish I had colonial enthusiasm to help here, but at least the colonists are going to help. Um, Dali, or Nepal is just—it's amazing what Nepal has done. Um, for now, we're going to improve relations with you, because I'm sure I have some sort of aggressive expansion. You just want my provinces. Sure. Okay. Uh, you can't have them. Patani, you... Yeah, we... Okay. You left me a lot. You want to be my vassal? Probably not, but... Nope. Um... Sai so will improve relations with you. Again, just keeping the coalition down. There's a nine stack that got wiped. Must been, have lost a battle up there or one of our vassals. So, oh, that's sucky. We're now sort of stuck there. They can't quite unsiege because they're siege fort level twos. We took attrition. <laughs> So we need them to actually get better. Um, these guys are hanging out here, so there's nothing we can do about it for now. But, whatever. Literally the biggest problem we're going to have are dealing with their rebels. We have to, like, siege around their rebels for now. Our vassals are just going and running through their armies, which I appreciate much. I hate that we're at 63% right now, right there. We'll have to deal with that two stack. Naval research wrong. Lose diplo points or lose prestige. We're going to get more prestige from fighting here, so... Keep the diplo points, gets us closer to our text that we want. Always exciting. Seriously, did we just, like... Okay. No, we didn't... They unsieged that quickly? Wow. Well done, Ming. I mean, it won't matter, but well done, Ming. This can go up here. We're going to ignore that 21 stack. Where are you going now? Wu Lin. We are literally going to have to siege them around <laughs> their dang uh, rebels, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, Push them away. We'll hang out here. Mm. 
Yep, that's good. Let's go up to speed four for now. Until they decide to attack us, I think it's better to be a little bit faster to get through these sieges. Good, good, good. Go down there. Want another siege? Where was it? I want that one. Um, as I said, we're going to go along the coast, so let's go that way. Um, I wonder if reinforcements can't reach them because they're... No, they can. So it's just going to be very slow. Okay. Eventually they'll get to 2k and they can see it again. Uh, really? Ming. You like snuck a 9 stack in to unsiege as opposed to just... Alright, well we're going to attack you. one of our generals will beat you up. Yeah, we have a lot more morale. Same tactics, same discipline, but a lot more morale, and we have cannons. Although we're going to lose the battle? Go to a fire phase and destroy them. Fire. Fire did nothing. There, they're below zero. That may have been enough. There we go. Yeah, that was really scary, though. Um, go back. Go back. Continue sieging. We'll send one guy to destroy this one stack. Good, the siege down on the island is working. Oh, send the... Don't send that one. Um, let's have you go up there. You come down here. We are really running out of troops due to having to merge everything together. Oh, now they're all scared away, so let's just finish that siege. Oh, and there's a 20 stack of rebels. Now they're unseaging my stuff. Joy. Maybe one of my allies will want to help with that. Maybe not. Um, I mean, Ming Rebels up here, that's helping. It's not bad. Just kind of, we want to get as much as we can, and we're going to have to deal with those guys on sieging, which is going to suck. Um, but it may, they may unsiege and then have to resiege, so it's a lot of time. And I'm fine with that. That's probably a good thing. Look at that, all these Ming peasants. Seriously, we're going to be fighting more of the Ming peasants than we are going to be fighting ourselves, or Ming. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy some infantry or some yeah. I mean, we're destroying our economy. But got to take advantage. I wonder how their other war is going. They are losing that war now. That's brilliant. That's what we wanted to have happen. Lose two wars. Khmer is actually... Let's get you over there. Um, we'll have all the rest of you come here and merge up, and we'll figure out what to do with you. We may go just siege somewhere. Select army. Merge together. Merge together if you can. Better. OK, 
come together right now over me boom 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 I think that's like the fifth time I've sung that recently um, seriously the rebels are the hardest part of this battle to the, oh not that one Does our, do our opponents even have an army? they do it's probably mostly Korea Ming has no army and no manpower left, so it's just Korea with a 18k, and who knows where they are. So we're just going to continue running over. That's exactly what we want. Um, I think we're going to siege as much as we can, and then maybe start dealing with the rebels. Because we want to get the war score up a decent amount. Um, I'm thinking in the 50-ish range. Let's see here. No, oh, we have no diplomats right now. Patani is civil. This is going to go to Dolly. We just need to remember that. Dolly for you. Um, this is going to be calm. Calm for you. Calm. We're not going to deal with province. I can't switch it over right now. This is going to be Dolly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that one yet. When you take this over, that'll be calm. Let's see how much we can actually take and release someone. But our vassals are sieging. It is awesome. Speed 5. There's no main army to speak of, so there's no reason to deal with it. Um, yes, we need war taxes. And we can get the next Tiplotech. We're going to hold off because... I don't actually... Hold on. That's an interesting question. This Diplotech just gives me range, right? Colonial range. So, yeah, for now we're going to hold off. Do we know? Are there natives on Hawaii? There should be. Yeah, there's a bunch of natives on Hawaii. So that's going to be a harder one to deal with. Also means we're going to have to keep our maintenance up. Um, so we'll, we'll want to get closer to done with, uh, whatchamacallit, Midway first. Okay. We are keep making money again. That's it's a really weird way to fight a war, but it seems to be working. So. Where is that 13 stack that just won going to go? Mongolia declared war on Ming. Everyone's piling in. That's actually a good thing for us. Um, Mongolia is like, what, that big? Seriously, did Mongolia just declare war on Ming by itself? Does it have allies? Nope, Mongolia declared war on Ming by itself. <laughs> That's hysterical. Okay, we're going to move you there. This 30 stack is annoying. Especially because it moved in and attacked us. Um, I'm going to recall the diplomat. Hopefully we can get there in time. Luckily they're rebels, so they're we've got a full morale on them. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that other rebel stack soon enough because um, this is getting silly. Let's bring you two together. Um, 
we need the army tradition, we're going to lose the stability and re immediately raise it. Because um, that's just not allowed. Um, let's bring you down to here. Go attack him. And you're going to kill those rebels. Yeah, so we're going to deal with the rebels that have been pissing us off. And then we'll re-siege these. Um, slowed us down a little bit, but not a big, big deal. Um, it does seem like half their countries, well, most of their country is now sieged by someone. I love that Mongolia is going after them. Okay, so if we were to be really greedy, what would we have, to, what was our war score have to be? Um, one another siege, you go there. Um, diplomacy, sue for peace. We want you to, I'm going to clear offer. We want you to release Meow. We want, definitely want that, oh, oh, good. You two, go there. I'm going to split you up and resiege those. Split the army. Go there. Okay. Um, now let's do this again. Show province. For peace. So we definitely want you to release these guys. We want Umon to go there. We want. Oh my god. Is it that cheap of war score for some of these places? Three, two, five. Yeah, well, that's good. This is kind of silly. We're going to be able to wreck. Utterly wreck. Um, yeah, we're just going to run over Ming. There's a lot of these that are like worth one or two. We're going to use up a lot of points, and that's fine. But we're going to we're going to basically destroy Ming as an entity that is worrisome at all. Um, we'll give this the calm as well. I think. Yep. And we'll give this to calm as well. Uh, good enough. I'm now tempted to give Chengdu to Dali. Maybe we'll expand Dali this way. We'll think about that one. Did I? Oh, I sent you one too far. Go back there. <laughs> we're going to have to... <laughs> Partly, we're just going to have to clean up some of the rebels. Uh -huh. I wonder how their other wars are going. Are they beating Mongolia? No, that's even. They're losing to Oria. Yeah, it, the problem is they're just such, such a big country. Look at that, Mongolia's won a siege. <laughs> oh, this is amazing to watch. For some reason, Oriat has not just, like, unsieged that. I don't really understand. Um, I don't know what flag that is. I think that's Manchu? Maybe that's Oriat. It's... oh, wow. Or did we just don't see something? I can't see. I switched. Oh, down there. Okay. Go away. You. Gonzo. Oh my god, there's a 45 stack of these rebels. <sighs> Rebel stomping 101. Go to China. Who doesn't like us? John Poor? Diplomacy. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're, we're going to want to take... Yeah. We've lost our claim on Pegu, our vassal. I'm not worried. Khmer is having some rebel issues. We'll have to deal with that. But 
Camille's having level issues. I don't know how yet to worry about that. So for now, uh, war is going incredibly well. We're going to make a massive grab out of Ming and see if we can't hurt them immensely. Uh, and others are piling on, including Mongolia. So that's that's pretty dang funny. Um, th oh, look at that. All of the... Oh, you got rid of all of the peasants. So now do you have an army? You do. You have 9k. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, that's kind of annoying. We're going to have to deal with that army soon enough. But... In the process, we are going to end this episode here and continue our um, pillaging, if you will, of Ming uh, in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate any likes, comments, or subscribes you may have, and uh, have a good one. Bye.